What's going on guys? I've got a 2006 Chrysler 300 here and I'm gonna use this car to show you about the uh, windshield wiper and the washer circuit. So there's a total of three fuses, two relays and two control modules that are involved in this system. So first I'm gonna go over, there are two fuses in the trunk. Now the actual switch that you manipulate to turn the wiper on and off and engage the washer circuit that can that communicates with a front uh, sorry that communicates with a control module for the steering wheel, and that module is powered by this 10 amp fuse. So you're going to want to check to see if this 10 amp fuse is intact, because without that the module will not power on. There's also a 5 amp fuse for you to check while you're back here, and this fuse is for the rain sensor. If your car is equipped with one, you can check that as well. The remaining fuses and relays are under the hood. So the switch communicates with the steering wheel control module. That steering wheel control module communicates to your front control module here. So this is in turn what relays the signal to your, um, your washer fluid uh, for your washer pump. As far as the windshield wiper itself, there's a fuse here, this 30 amp J case fuse, number 18. This is what provides power to the actual wiper motor. And these two relays are for the windshield wiper as well. This one right here is gonna be your on off relay. This one is gonna be your high or low speed relay. And if you suspect that any of these relays are bad, feel free to swap in your horn relay as a troubleshooting step. Now, as far as the, uh, as far as the wiper motor, the engine is way down there. You can get to it by just popping in through here. So there's your motor right there. And there's also a sensor as well. So yeah, both of those communicate directly to your front control module right here. So if your fuses and your relays are fine and you're still having issues, um, you may want to get a scan tool that can pull trouble codes, see if you have any communication issues between those modules or uh, see if you can command the modules with the scan tool. So yeah, that's just about it. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions.